Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. Um, so today the Miami Heat have a chance to advance to the NBA Finals. We will see if they can accomplish that, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous. We'll see. 3-1 leads ain't a very stable thing these days, so I will definitely keep my eyes peeled. Um, but other than that, um, we know why I'm here. I'm here to review the Dragon Fruit um, Freeze from Taco Bell. And so that's coming. But I will probably go on a little bit of a rant about Taco Bell's menu. So you'll get to sit and watch me talk about that. Um, but before we get into this, please give this video a like, a comment, and a share. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already. Check out my Instagram. Redneck snack and food. So yes, um, Taco Bell is starting to, you know, bring some new things in and starting to phase out a couple more things. If you go back a year from this point right now, Taco Bell's menu was a beautiful disaster. Um, why would I say that? Because it was beautiful. It had tons of things. Why is it a disaster? Because, uh, employees kind of like you know they would get all messed up by it because there's so much so many options but it was amazing so you know what are you going to do Taco Bell you going to train management and employees to do better you know to handle this stress better or are you going to just be cheap and displease all your customers well they decided to displease their customers um couple months back i think maybe i think that this is going this is about to be the third time that they're removing things from their menu but i know a couple months back they removed things from their menu um but a while ago they they slimmed it down to just one doritos tacos locos and removed things so this has been a process over the past year that they have to completely destroyed their menu and i'm so disappointed by it i really am um but when they throw these cool new things in, like the dragon fruit um, freeze, we get to forget about it for a little bit. And it's like, okay, enjoy that, and then get back to complaining. So, um, but I will consistently complain and talk about how disappointing it is that they don't offer all these items anymore. It's like sad. Um, it was fun going to Taco Bell and being like, I don't know what the frick I'm getting because there was so much. And now it's like, I don't know if I really want anything at this point, you know? Maybe get me a taco, but so disappointing. So I don't want to let this thing melt. They didn't really stir it up as good as they probably should have. So I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna stir it up a little bit. But let's show it off as it is. Um, but uh, Dragon Fruit Freeze. Dragon Fruit's been a popular um, addition things these days um starbucks has gotten into that game duncan's used passion fruit uh not pa dragon fruit sorry passion fruit's probably pretty popular too but dragon fruit i know that starbucks has used it and mcdonald's not Mc, well, Mc, mcdonald's might have done something i can't remember for sure but i know starbucks and duncan both did drinks with dragon fruit i know i've had it elsewhere but i'm drawing a blank on where I just know I gotta this is annoying me so I gotta stir it up I gotta get I gotta do what the employee didn't do and I mean of course they got a long line so like I can't be so upset over this at least they put syrup in there you know so but I am a little bit sad that I have to do this you know I don't want to do this I don't want to waste time stirring it stir 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 churning like butter but Oh, I like how pretty that's getting, folks. I mean, it's starting to, you know, start. I kind of want to flip it over. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm about to do one of the dumbest things I could ever do. Um, but it's got to happen. So, my hand's over top of it. And I'm trying to get the syrup to go all throughout it's not so bad 
because it's ice. So, see, I, I could have done it without it falling. See, my hand's fine. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, but yeah, just want to get it all mixed in there. Make it prettier too, you know? It's kind of pretty. It was kind of pretty at the start, but I'm going to make it better. You know, folks, I probably have a spoon I could do this with, but I ain't taking my time to search for a spoon. All right, I think that's good enough. Do y'all think that's good enough? Well, you can't comment right now, but you can tell me after the video if I stirred good, if I got good stirring skills. If I don't, then maybe I just won't stir next time. Or I'll bring a spoon. Maybe, or I'll look for a spoon beforehand. That's what I'll do, because I got spoons. I know I got spoons. I, you, you know, I rarely, I get cups of water all the time. And rarely do I ever, and I do not like the way they're barking over there, but rarely do I ever <clears throat> drink with the straw. So my counsel is failed with napkins and straws because I don't use a lot of those things. But it's always good to keep them. You know how people freak out about the environment and like the straws, the straws. That's the most convenient thing we can go for. Well, if I'm not throwing them away at least I'm doing something with them you know um but I am using a straw this time because obviously I need one and they don't offer eco-friendly straws at this place which doesn't bother me because I'm not from California and I'm not a nut but that's just how it is um anyways sir just seems to want to stay down there for some reason but I don't want to sink the milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and review it. I've rambled on long enough. We're seven minutes in and uh, I don't wanna waste your time anymore. So here we go, folks. Okay. Yeah, I'm drinking from the top because that's a little much right there. I actually like this. I like that the focus is on one fruit. I really do. Because Starbucks is like mixing dragon fruit with other things. And passion fruit with other things. Duncan's doing the same thing. It's like, make it simple. You know what I mean? Make it simple. And Taco Bell, you know how to make things simple. And I like that. I like simple. I do. I like the focus. And you know what makes me more excited about this is that I don't have to buy a dragon fruit and eat that weird texture shit. And, uh, excuse my French, but, uh, it is, some, it is a weird fruit. I sat there trying to eat a dragon fruit one day with a bunch of people who never had a dragon fruit. It's like, I'm just working through this thing, trying to learn how to eat it. And, uh, well... I think this is more enjoyable because I get the nice taste of dragon fruit without that really weird texture. You know what I mean? If you've had a dragon fruit, I think you understand. But uh, let, let's keep sipping this thing. Yeah, I mean, it's got good flavor. I, I like that. Is it the greatest thing in the world? I wouldn't say so. Um, but I get it over the Baja Blast? I wouldn't say that either. But would I get it again? Yeah. Would I mix it with the, uh, the other two current um, freezes they've got? The strawberry and the, uh, the Baja? Because they got rid of pineapple. That was only summer. Um, yeah. I would. I'd do it. No, this is good. I recommend it for sure. Um, it's got nice, distinct dragon fruit flavor, and uh, I I totally think if you've had dragon fruit and you like it, you should try it. If you haven't had dragon fruit, I would say you should also try it. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight. It's got nice fruity notes, but also subtle. Um, I 
a little bit of a subtle tang, I would say. Is that the right term for it? I don't know. But uh, it, it's, it's a good drink. It's a good drink. So I don't want to waste your time anymore. I gave it an 8. It's good. I recommend it. But it's, it doesn't wow me by any means. But it's good. So I'm just glad I, I didn't let it melt. It's very pretty aesthetically. So um, if you like posting things for the aesthetics on your Instagram or your Snapchat or whatever app. It's good for that too. So yeah, I mean... That's what I got. Um, tomorrow, you're going to be excited for this, folks. I'm going to torture myself. So I'm going to do the Pocky One Chip Challenge tomorrow. Just be on the lookout for that. My goal is to try and... So apparently, on the inside, you get this, this little instruction thing. It says, if you make it an hour, you're, you're a true pro. So my attempt is to make it one entire hour without having to drink a daggone thing. I think it's possible. I really think I can I can handle that. We will see. We will see. Because, like, I've seen people just freak out. And it's like, I think they overreacted. I feel like Pocky paid them to, to do that. Um, but I've seen people freak out just drinking water. It's like, oh, my goodness, I can't live. But then, like, yesterday or the other day, I watched this couple, this older couple... Well, not old, but, you know, middle age, I'd say. Uh, I watched them, and, like, they made it 13 minutes without drinking anything. So, I don't know. And, I mean, that's the second one. But, like, they made, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But I think I can, I can conquer that. But, anyways, just be on the lookout for that tomorrow. Um, and... I'll see y'all around, all right? Yeah!